Okay, let's give this zip drive a bit of TLC. Now I've got the Mac booting off this system disk. I need to stop dust going in there because I don't want it to ruin any of the disks I've got. And this has come off. So I worked out it must have come off and fallen out through the front. Let's have a look at what I can do to get this back on. So how do I take apart a zip disk? All right, well, the first thing I'll always do is check underneath the feet to see if there's anything hiding underneath there. And apart from messing it up, that's better. It doesn't look like there's any screws under there. It doesn't feel like there's any screw under there. Although this could have a screw underneath it. Again, that's just got, um, see this one, it's just got a plug in it. So it doesn't look like, no, no screw under there either. They're just all push fit, quite good push fits as well. Not glued. So if they're not glued on and that's not stickied on, this probably isn't either. I'm just looking across at it, look. There's a extra bit there. It's just slightly wider. Is there anything else like that along this line? Not that I can see. Ah, but there's two on that side as well. So let's just get my big Clive style Isesimo spudger and see if I can push anything in there. I bet it's behind there. There's just something that that pops. I can feel it springy. But you never know how hard to push on these things. Right, so much. Okay, so let's. I've got something. This will go in a little bit deeper. No, but that. Um, no, I don't feel it coming apart. That's the scary bit. I just don't want to break the clips. So I'm trying not to use too much force. Right, well, that's not happening that way. Let's try the other side. There's one here. I wonder if the end comes off first. Now, look, if I do that, it's almost like the end is connected to that bit. Let's see if this loosens anything here. Hmm, let's have a think about this. So there's not many videos out there. Yes, that's where I just went of people taking these apart. Quite often, if you type something in and put disassembly, it shows you how to do it. But um, all I could find today was this video here. Uh, but the zip drive he had was really wrecked and it was really broken and fragile. Um, so quite... Uh, amazing that this is so lovely compared to the one that he had even though this is probably uh, just the same age as well but I seem to work out that there are clips here which I might just need to be a bit more uh, what's the word a bit more aggressive with so his fell apart but I'm sure there's some clips that come up that are covered in a coppery substance the other side of this so it's just getting in there and working out where that clip is so I need to be a bit more aggressive unfortunately got it okay so a lot of forcing so this was the front of the drive and I pushed down onto there and that way and it seemed to open it up enough to get in so let's try this bit as well the same thing there we go Ooh, a lot of force his was slightly different but wow I didn't like doing that much force but you can see there there's clips I zoom in a little bit it's normally the game away where there's a little bit 
uh, rebated on it but there's that thing so you're actually here you're trying to push that down out the way and then it will come off lovely right so let's do it over here as well on this side it's going to be the same way so push it in and up wow that very much felt like too much pressure but it didn't break it and then there's something here this end maybe when i open it a little bit it will let me get in there i'm not sure about that one hopefully i can lift it off this way yeah okay so it doesn't look like the clips are broken so that's the clip that was holding it in very well put together no clip there oh there is a little clip there but maybe they need to do what i did so there are the clips and i've scratched a little bit on that inside but that's okay i think i've got away with it a little bit of a uh, plastic scratch in there but yes you do have to use a bit of violence to get that working or well, big old cap there if i uh, get another one of these and it doesn't work that's a prime thing to uh swap out but that one looks perfect it looks hardly used this looks beautiful inside all right i noticed something earlier as well as to how uh, unused this was but we'll find that again in a minute so on this side it looks like there's these little plastic tabs teeny little things and they look like they're on here as well so they've sort of broken off so it's literally popping that in there now i could use super glue it looks like they've used hot melt for this so those little lugs popped up that fit on top of it and then they just put heat on there i don't want to use super glue but i tell you what i have got i think i'll use i've got some of this very high bond adhesive tape this was for another project that I've never finished. Where's it going to be? I think the best thing to do is to maybe put it on that side and that side. So I don't need much of this, but I might just uh, tidy up this edge and use this. So let's just cut this off and make a thinner strip on this side as well. It'd be goopy stuff, this. I could try and use that, but too little really so that looks just about thin enough yep so let's measure that out do that one there I think I'll take it down a little bit thinner no I won't just do it as it is mm. that's too much let's take that off all oh, that bit's gone need to make it a bit thinner than this Right, so we can't see that from the outside, so that's good. Pop him on that side. Okay, that was fiddly. Ironically, I've just realised that unless i go all the way around this it's not really going to keep the dust out but it'll keep most of it out i suppose all right so i just wiped the back of that uh traditionally on my trousers you don't get a b-roll of that sorry and let's just try and pop this in place I'll start with a corner okay so that's gone straight in and yeah it did really well i love this uh, tape although it is fiddly it's not just sellotape it's something different now one of the things i noticed on this this is a sticker it's not a print on the outside so i could peel that sticker off but then i might lose the uh the printing which i like so i'm not sure whether the printing is on the sticker i think it is feeling it yeah i think that's silk screen on the sticker so if i lose this sticker yeah if i lose that sticker i use those instructions and i don't really want to lose them so i'll just uh leave that to cure up i won't push it down but it should have done that now so it should just be the case now of just popping this back on do it the right way around that would help and we should as long as i get 
there's something here that engages with that bit so I'll make sure that I'm pushing the edge up as I'm putting it in make sure it slides down that groove and then that's it done so that's how to take apart an iomega scuzzy on this case zip drive to stick this back on if you've managed to keep that and that will make it uh keep the dust out a little bit more in the cave than it would be if i just left the window open all right so this is part of my mac series although this hasn't really been uh anything to do with the mac it's about the zip drive that i'm booting my mac from but if you like this check out some of my other mac videos or maybe some of my crafting videos on my channel and uh, if you like this please like it and of course bye